One last thing I want to say about the Cauchy Riemann equations. So the Cauchy Riemann equations again um, is the following. So notice that if you have a function f and we write it as u plus iv, so you can think about this as u plus iv, right? So you can think of these as functions of, of two variables here, uh, x and y. Then uh, the Cauchy Riemann equations had an analog. Uh, well, one way to write them, it's not really an analog, it's the same things, but one way to write them is to say that the partial view with respect to x at this point, x not y not, is equal to the partial of v with respect to y at that same point, and the partial of v with respect to y at this point is equal to minus the partial of v with respect to x at the same point. So these are uh, really the way um, that I think about the Cauchy Riemann equations in general. Um, and again, because there's two of them, they're the Cauchy Riemann equations. That's why it's plural. Now, what I want to do is I want to think about the fact that if these two functions are nice, um, then we know that u sub xy and u sub yx are going to be equal because we know in Calc 2 that if we have a function that's nice, then the mixed second partials are equal. Nice in the sense means that these are uh, functions with two inputs that are uh, continuously twice differentiable. So you can differentiate them twice and then the second derivative is continuous over whatever domain. So if that's the case, then the mixed second partials commute, as we say, so the order doesn't matter. But think about what that means. That means that if you were to take the partial of u with respect to x, oops. So if you were to take the partial of u with respect to x and differentiate that with respect to y, um, what you would get would be, well, let's think about this. The partial of u with respect to x differentiated at y is the same as the partial of v with respect to y evaluated at y because we know that u sub x and v sub y are equal, right? That's one of the Cauchy Riemann equations. Uh, and likewise, so likewise, you know that the partial of u with respect to y and then differentiated with respect to x is going to be minus v sub x uh, with respect to x. Uh, and so that tells you that um, really, if you think about this equation now, uh, so what this tells you is that v sub yy is equal to minus v sub xx, or uh, to say it another way, the second partial with respect to x plus the second partial with respect to y uh, is going to be equal to zero. Um, by the way, same is true for you. So same um, for, for you. Let me just write this. Also, the second uh, partial of u with respect to x plus the second partial of u with respect to y is going to be zero. Now, functions with this property are called harmonic functions. So uh, we say that uh, f uh, is a harmonic function, and specifically you refer to a harmonic function over its domain, but it's a harmonic function if it has exactly this pattern. So if the second partial with respect to x plus the second partial with respect to y is zero, then we call this a harmonic function over that domain of whatever the function is. So this is all, if we put everything together, it turns out that if the Cauchy Riemann equations apply, meaning that f is differentiable at z naught, then u and v are harmonic functions. So let me let me write that. This, this is kind of a corollary of what we said. So it turns out that uh, if f prime of z exists, then, in other words, if all the hypotheses of the Cauchy Riemann equation statement apply, in, in, in other words, if f prime of z naught exists, then uh, u and v are harmonic functions where u and v are the functions that we get by looking at f as a function of x and y. Okay, so it turns out that you get this harmonic uh, harmonicity uh, if you have a function that's differentiable. Um, actually, I should say that this is also an if and only if statement. If you have harmonic functions, u and v, then that tells you that f prime of z naught exists. Uh, and again, that, that direction's a little bit harder to go in. So uh, we can either look it up in the book or, or you can just take my word on it for now.